Hi everyone, it's Lynn from Halen Vintage and I want to welcome you to my first drop hop sale. I want to thank Black Dog Vintage Antiques and Claudia K Vintage for inviting me to participate in this sale, this red, white, and blue sale that is happening here on the 4th of July. I hope you've had time to check out everybody's items and what they have for sale. And if you like their items, you should subscribe to their channel if you haven't already done that. So with that being said, I am going to show some items in a number and I will um, put those items up. Then you can just, in the comments, write the number that you're interested in. And then I will go through and whoever um, put that number in first is the person that I am going to be sending that item to. You will then send your information to Halen Vintage at gmail.com. Please send me your name, your, um, I want to say Instagram because I do a lot of things on Instagram, but your YouTube name, what your, you know, your name is on YouTube and what your actual name is, your address, your zip code, all of those items so that I can bill you through PayPal. And if you want to do Venmo, I can also do Venmo for you. I will use Pirate Ship to try and get you the best shipping on these items. And I don't know what else I should say. Um, bear with me because this is my first drop sale. So if I mix it up a little bit, we'll figure it out in the end, right? So with that being said, I will be closing this sale on Wednesday at midnight. So my video is dropping at 5.30 on Monday. So Wednesday midnight, I will be looking to see who had claimed whatever item, and that will be the person that I will claim that. After Wednesday midnight, if there's something that you're interested in, please email me because I probably won't really be going back through the comments as much as I was at first, okay? So let's get started. So I'm gonna kind of go through like red, white, and blue. So the first item that I do have is this beautiful red vase. It is a red art glass vase with a donut hole. It is hand blown. It does have a pond tail mark on the bottom of it. No chips or cracks on it. It is approximately 11 inches tall and at the widest base, it's just about seven and a half inches. This is going to be number 25 and it will be $30. Number 25, $30. So my next red item will be this Viking Swung Vase. It, do, it is Amberina, so this will glow right here, that really bright fluorescent orange. It did have a Viking tag on it right here that you can see. And when you look through the glass this way, you can see that it used to say Viking. So I am not going to take that off. There are no chips or cracks on this. This is 11 inches tall. And this will be number 14, $35. Number 14, $35. Very nice swung base. So then I have um, this beautiful um, cranberry I want to say it's Fenton. It is not marked Fenton. It is just absolutely beautiful. It's the Dot Optic Cruette. It does have a small chip on the end right here of the stopper. And it does have like where the stopper has gone in back, you know, in and out of the Cruette. It is kind of like, you know, rough there like frosted glass it looks like almost but it's got a nice applied handle no chips or cracks on it beautiful condition 
this is going to be number 23, $50. Number 23, $50. This cruet is approximately five and a half inches tall with the stopper. It is seven and a quarter inches. And at the widest mark, it's about four inches. Very beautiful cruet. So then I have this um, service snack. You know, I know these are a dime a dozen, but the reason I have this one, one, it was in the box, and two, it's the colonial pattern, and I just love this colonial pattern with all the little swirls and circles on there. But I also liked that it had red, ruby red glasses, anchor hawking ruby red glasses. This would be wonderful for luncheon for Valentine's Day or Christmas, 4th of July, any of those holidays, somebody's birthday, just absolutely beautiful. No chips or cracks on this whole set. There is four of the plates and four of the red little cups. Like I said, it is in absolutely great condition. It does have the original box. There is some writing on it and stuff. I mean, it's kind of dirty, but it still has the original box. So this is going to be number 15, $25 for the service set Anchor Hocking Royal Red Colonial Lady Circles Snack Set. So let's move on to white. So for white, I have this cute little Lennox Butterfly, Butterfly Meadow. It's by Luis Le Luer. Um, it uh, has that basket weave pattern. It's approximately five and a, five and a three quarter inches high and about six and a half inches long. No chips or cracks. This is like a really nice dish. There's a little bumblebee that's inside there. She also has a really cute little like um, ladybug on top of her. No chips or cracks even on her butterfly. Super cute. She is retired. So she's going to be number 26 for $38. 26 $38. So then I have these really cute Libby glasses. These have really, I love daisies. Little white daisies on them. All the paint on these, it is a set of four. Great condition. They do stack if you need to have them stack in your cabinet. So there is four of them. Let me show you all four. Great condition. They are five inches tall and about three inches wide at the top. So this is going to be number 22 for $20. 22, $20. So then I have a Fenton Silvercrest Ruffled Milk Glass um, Melon Shaped Vase. It does have a small hole in there. There is some dust in there. I'm going to put some peroxide in there and see if that will help get it out. Um, but it's just dust. It's old dust. So you get old dust for free with it. It is six and a half inches tall. No chips or cracks. Has that really beautiful silver crest on there. This is going to be number 21 for $20. 21 for $20. Uh, So 
So, <clears throat> because it is the 4th of July, I thought I would bring out this American Eagle. It is a milk glass piece. This piece was made from 1898 to 1902 by Flass's Glass Company. It's a commemorative piece. And on the eggs, I don't know if you'll be able to see what the eggs say. They do say um, American Hen, Puerto Rico, Cuba, and the Philippines. Like we're protecting them or whatever. Um, super great condition. No chips or cracks. I like that it's an eagle. So this is going to be number 18 for $50 on the eagle. It's a very old commemorative eagle. So then I have a Fenton Hobnail Fairy Lamp. I know I have to slow down. I used to teach and I could get you through a three hour lecture in an hour. So I'm trying to like breathe because when I get nervous, I talk really fast. So breathe, Lynn, right? Breathe. All right. <laughs> so this is a Fenton Hobnail Fairy Lamp. Um, it is signed by Sylvia Ze Zeslinger. Right in there, you can kind of see the pink in there that it is signed. Great shape. It does have roses. It's hand painted roses in um, like a blue pattern, blue little flowers on there. No chips or cracks. Super great condition. This is going to be number 27 for $50. Number 27 for $50. The fairy lamp does measure just under five inches, like four and three quarters. The top is like two inches at the very top. And then it's like three and a quarter inches from here to here. So not a real big fairy lamp, but in super great condition. It's got that shabby chic going on. So it was, again, number 27 for $50. So then I have this Northwood White Opalescent Bowl. It is ruffles and rings. It is footed, so it does have three feet on it. It does have like a daisy kind of pattern in there on where the feet are located and you can kind of see the ruffles and the rings. I like the shape of this bowl because usually you see them, they're more like a wider bowl. They're um, not as upright as this one is. So I like that it's like a deeper bowl on this one. So it is a Northwood white. So this is going to be Number 32 for $25, number 32 for $25. This bowl is six and a half inches wide and it stands like four inches tall. You could just see jelly beans in this, couldn't you? It's just absolutely beautiful. No chips or cracks, great condition. I mean, it has some roughness just from the manufacturer, but other than that, great condition. All right, so then I have, um, I kind of took this so we could go into blue. So this is a humidor. It is a blue Delft humidor. It's white milk glass in great shape, no chips or cracks. You could put whatever you wanted in there. I mean, you could just store your pens. You could store um, candy in here. If you, you got it, recreational, whatever you do, that's on you. I don't care. You could do that in there. 
um, tobacco, what it's actually made for. You could use this for whatever you like. Super great pattern on here. The pattern is in great shape. It's got like windmills. So it's a Delft pattern. There is no signature on the bottom. The ring is very well shaped. The lid is in good shape. This stands like six and a quarter inches. It's about five inches wide. This is going to be number 38 for $12. Number 38 for $12. So, I have this beautiful, I believe it is a boy. There's a small B on the bottom. You can't really see it. Sky blue rose powder, rose powder dish or a puff box, whatever you would like to call it in a beautiful, look at that blue hue on there. It does have the leaves in a rose on the top of it. You can see the little rose right there. It is four inches wide and it stands just the dish itself, stands just like two inches, but then like the top of here would probably be about three inches to the top of the rose. So this is going to be Number 19, $20. No chips or cracks. Beautiful blue, number 19, $20. So then I have this really cute, small crackle pitcher. It does have a a ruffled edge. It is hand blown. Has a nice applied handle on it. It stands like four and a quarter inches. The widest point is about three inches. So four and a quarter inches. Really nice blue crackle. No chips or cracks on it. This is number 13 for $18. 13 for $18. So this is also um, a Boyd. It does have a B on the bottom of it. Little cute little blue basket toothpick holder. It is two and a quarter inches tall. From handle to handle, it's just over three inches. It's like three inches. So this is going to be number 16 for $10. Number 16 for $10. Super cute. Got the little weave pattern on there. Nice handles. So then our other blue item is a really nice Impali vase. Well, I'm I'm saying it's Impali style. I'm not absolutely 100% sure if it's Impali, but I would say it's Impali style. It does have really nice vertical ridges that give it really nice shadowing on there. Just really pretty. It is like eight and a quarter inches tall. The top of it is about three, three and a half inches. It's just a really pretty blue. So this is number 20 
for $28. Number 20 for $28. So those are our red, white, and blue items. So I do have a few other items because it's just not 4th of July unless you're talking about Christmas in July, right? So I do have these cute little fairy elves. They do not hug their knees. They're just straight. They're in decent condition. I mean, they might be a little bit dirty, but their faces and everything are in really great shape. He does have like maybe a little bit of sun bleaching on him. They do have little Japan stickers on their legs. Most of them do. All three of these ones do. Their faces are in great shape. So they are red, white, and green. They are approximately six inches long. So they are just like little ornaments. So these three are gonna be number 24 for $25. Number 24 for $25. So then I could not finish out my show without the big guy himself. So he is red, white, and blue. He has the most prettiest blue eyes. He is a really nice blow mold. He is Empire from 1968. He does, I mean, he has damage on him. His paint isn't all that great but I just still think that he's wonderful. He does not have a light, but I know that, I mean, that's not something that's really hard to get. I don't know um, if there was supposed to be something here or not, but for 1968, he still in great condition, I think. I mean, yes, the paint, please. Please make sure you look at the paint, though, on his eyes here. I don't know if that's something that can be fixed so that he looks better. He does have some paint loss on his hat. But like I said, he is still an empire from 1968. And I was going to ask um, number 28 for $40. 28 $40 on the Santa head. I still just think if he is outside, he is just going to be absolutely fabulous. Or put him in a wreath or something like that. I mean, just absolutely fabulous. I think anyways. I could be wrong. You never know. You just say, Lynn, you're full of crap. All right. So those are my items. I hope there was something that you really liked. Um, please reach out to me. If there is, please put, like I said, in the comments, I will make sure that I post my email so that you guys can write to me to tell me your address if you do want to claim an item. And a reminder again that my sale will be ending Wednesday at midnight. So that is Wednesday, July 6th at midnight so that I can bill everybody and then try and get it out for the weekend. So again, I would like to thank Black Dog Vintage Antiques and Claudia K Vintage for inviting me to my first drop sale. And I will put everybody's shops that are doing the sale at the bottom so that if you don't know who's in there, you can go and check out what they have for sale. And I think that's it, right? So I don't have anybody. I'm the last one. 
we're clearing it up here. So I am following it all up. So there's nobody else after me. So I hope everybody had a great 4th of July. And with that being said, this is Halen Vintage. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. And if you purchase anything, thank you so much. And thank you for helping me let my channel grow. Have a great one, everyone. Bye.